Okay, just wanted to do a real quick video about the Hyper 12, 212 LED from Cooler Master. Similar to the um, Hyper 212 regular and the Hyper 212 Evo or whatever. I installed a few of them. Um, this was my first time installing the new Hyper 212 LED. Well, it's new to me. And uh, just a quick note for the AMD guys. Uh, you usually get all these, the mounting brackets and everything in order to install it to uh, your AMD motherboard. Well, um, I just went through the hassle of finding out you don't need all of these anymore with the new Hyper 212 LED um, because it comes with a standard, here let me show you, um, lock latch for your existing socket. Here you see. All you need to do is um, prepare the heat sink and put this lock latch lever in put the compound on your CPU slap this down put this lack latch in uh, latching lock <laughs> and um, you're done you don't have to install the um, bottom plate on the motherboard anymore you just use the existing uh, mounting tabs that come with your motherboard because I went through all the hassle of installing this new Hyper 212 LED and um, <clears throat> the new brackets for the AMD are these um, straight across brackets so the problem is you can only at least with this uh, motherboard here this is a mini ITX from um, ASRock R rocks your ass off and uh, the only way you could mount this with their straight latch was um, sideways. So I had to have the fan either pointing down or pointing up instead of pointing towards the back. And I was like, well, that's kind of not exactly kosher with the build I'm going for, but I guess I can make it work. And then I found the insert that says, oh yeah, if you've got an AMD, just use this bracket here and you're done. I'm like, thanks. Wish I would have figured that out at the beginning. Well, anyway, so yeah, all you got to do is use this included, you know, latching lock, and uh, you're good to go. You don't have to put all these extra brackets and everything, and undo the screws, and put the scres in here, so that it'll go to your AMD, put that on your back plate, put these sockets on your motherboard, and then socket the CPU in, and the heatsink fan. Anyway, so yeah, I hope that helps save you some time so that uh, you can put your fan uh, blowing backwards out the case. Just like I wanted. Alright, now I can finish this build and uh, you guys can get back to whatever you were doing. Thanks for stopping by. Hope that helped. Later.